Hi everybody, Martin Root with Project Heaven on Earth. A couple of weeks ago I was in Halifax, Nova Scotia, having lunch, uh, dinner actually, with a, a bunch of friends. And uh, I met a new man who I've never met before, Ron Pink. And he is a managing partner in Pink Larkin, which is a firm of attorneys called Barristers Solicitors in Canada, or lawyers in the U.S., and he is a heaven maker, and we're going to find out in this interview why he is. Welcome, Ron. Nice to see you. Thanks so much. You're the managing part. You're a managing partner, rather, of Pink Larkin. What kind of law do you practice? Uh, the firm. Yeah, we have a firm of 25 lawyers in Halifax and in Fredericton. So we're a small firm, generally speaking, um, and we do um, labor and employment. Uh, from the employee side, we do uh, pension and benefits, uh, professional regulation, and litigation, both criminal and civil. Okay, Ron, imagine you have a magic wand, and with it, you can have heaven on earth for law. What is heaven on earth for law for you? Well, um, Martin, I think what the, the best way we could describe it is to have enough judges, enough courts, and enough lawyers who could represent everybody who has a legitimate case uh, before the judicial system, be it a court or an administrative tribunal uh, or whatever. So everybody has their day in court and can uh, have good representation and the judges have the time to make good decisions uh, and they're not rushed, uh, but the best cases get presented and the change gets made through, uh, through uh, the justice, justice system. You spoke in a, in a newspaper article I read about you about something called the justice gap. Is this what you mean by the justice gap, that it's not oh, now? Yeah. We call it access to justice. There's a real problem with access to justice in this country, as there is in every country uh, in the Western world, um, uh, where those who can't afford can't get justice. Uh, and, um, uh, and so the, the system becomes a system for uh, the well-to-do. Uh, and, and so uh, the, the, the objective, our objective was to find a way to help those who could not get access to the justice system uh, and provide them with... Um, with with a methodology to have their 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 complaints remedied, hopefully. Now you've you've set up something which really just set off light bulbs in my head when you said it to me, and uh, I'd like you to tell our viewers what exactly that you did. Yeah, well, it's pretty simple. Um, uh, the partners uh, of this firm uh, agreed to engage uh, a senior lawyer uh, who uh, was formerly with Nova Scotia Legal Aid, uh, doing practicing poverty law, to come join our firm. Uh, and to represent um, on a pro bono basis uh, that sector of society that uh, is very marginalized and has no, no one speaks for them uh, and to take their cases before courts and tribunals to provide uh, a remedy for them. He would do it for free uh, to them and we would cover his salary and, uh, and his benefits and his office and his staff and that sort of thing. And I think, Ron, that's what just so just set me off. I thought, oh, my God, I've never heard of anything like that. But first of all, do you know of anything like that in Canada happening? No, I'm not aware of any other firm that has done this. Uh, but when you think about it, Martin, it's, it's not a big deal uh, in the sense that, um, yes, there's some expense. But, you know, um, it's not a large expense relative to everything else. And if you can help those people in society who can't help themselves and and, and they get remedies which are which are satisfactory to them. Boss, what a difference you make for a whole lot of people. So you said you have 25 uh, lawyers in your firm. You come up with this idea. I'm assuming that you and your partner then present to the par the other partners, your, you, excuse me, you and your fellow managing partner, present to your other partners. What was the reaction when you, when you said, this is what we'd like to do? It took about 30 seconds. Really? And I said, Oh, yeah, what's the what's the point here? Oh, yeah, sure, great idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Here's why I'm laughing. It's because there's nothing more to say, is there? I, I think when, the, 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 when people ask me why'd you do it, the answer is simple: because it's the right thing to do. Very clear. And uh, and so if it's the right thing to do, we'll just go do it and move on. Tell, me, tell me his name and tell me a little bit more about him. Uh, his name is Vince Calderhead. He's 60 years old. He has a stellar career. Um, Rep practicing poverty law, uh, he's recognized throughout the country as being a leader in that field, lectures nationally and internationally on the, on the area, uh, has argued cases uh, through all the courts and Supreme Court of Canada in this country, uh, um, is, uh, has a great reputation, uh, and um, never practiced privately in his entire career, 
Uh, and so we moved over here um, uh, Tuesday after Labor Day. And did you approach him or he approach you? It was kind of mutual. We knew that he was he was leaving uh, legal aid. And uh, and so one thing led to another. He spoke to my partner, Ray Larkin, uh, and uh, Ray and I spoke. And then one and one is two and two became 16 and done deal. Uh, and, you know, what, what you said, because I read an article about it, which we're going to link to here as well in the video. Um, he, you do pro bono cases. I know that in your firm. But this is different. This is not a one on one. This is what you call systemic. So talk to us about that. Yeah, well, let's, let's talk about the difference. So we would, um, like a, a year or two ago, we represented uh, a community group in the North and Halifax, which is generally uh, black and poor uh, uh, through a, uh, a Baptist church there and um, uh, on a property development that they wanted to save and for the community. And we did that uh, case um, uh, through two uh, hearings uh, in, the, uh, in the Supreme Court of Nova Scotia and then to the Court of Appeal for a, a very lengthy hearing, and then leave to appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada, all for free. You know, they didn't pay anything. So, um, and, but we do those sorts of things. But that was for a one-off for a group, a local community group who, who uh, had a special need and couldn't afford it, we did that. But what, what Vince is doing is he's seeking out and or planning cases which are of significant um, uh, structural uh, issues within the, the uh, community. And uh, he'll look at those issues and he'll try to find a way to, uh, to make those into a proper legal case to, through a charter challenge in Canada or through a human rights discrimination case or that sort of thing, all to get uh, a, um, uh, a resolve which will make their lives more meaningful and better. And how, who chooses which cases or which strategic initiatives? Oh, that's easy. Um, he decides on, on, the, on the theory that it's not for Joe Smith who, who comes off the street and said, uh, my dog got run over, why don't you represent me? It's not that sort of thing. It's, it's persons who are mentally ill, homeless, uh, housing situations, uh, uh, tenants in, in, uh, who have substantive issues. So it's, 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 it's the cases which will change the way society works with respect to these marginalized groups. It's not individuals, it's significant groups of individuals, significant persons in a group. Uh, that's what we would be doing. Um, it's systemic, in other words. All systemic, for sure. And he does not bill? Oh, it's no, free. No. It's free. And then how, do, how does he report back to you? How do you judge his, his performance or... Uh, I mean, you know, normally I'm assuming if I was an attorney working at your firm, it would be billable hours and the pro bono and the normal, the normal measurement tools. What about with him? How's it going, Vince? <laughs> okay. Um, Seriously, I mean, we, no, we, no, I get it. We know he's working. We know he has cases. Right. Because uh, there'll be other lawyers in the firm. We give up their time to work with them. Uh, and and so uh, it's a pretty um, important issue for the young lawyers in our firm because they want to be seen you doing something valuable within society. Right. And hanging along with one of the leaders in the field is pretty attractive. The um, other law firms, um, I know you had a big story in the Globe and Mail, which is equivalent to, in a sense, to the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal, the national paper of record in Canada. Um, other law firms, has other law firms approached you? I know there was a, uh, in, in addition, there was a law school professor who had some questions about how other law firms would take to this. Yeah, no, we've not. Uh, this isn't rocket science, what we're doing here. Um, uh, and and other people have talked to me uh, about doing it. And kudos, like, nice, uh, nice job and uh, smart move sort of thing. But no one has come and said, hey, how do we do this? But I didn't expect that this soon. I think that um, over years, um, it'll take, I mean, just imagine if you had a 500-person a law firm like there are in this country. Like, couldn't they afford to have one person in 500 lawyers who was doing this work uh, in, uh, in Toronto or Montreal or Vancouver uh, and, and, and was dedicated for, to systemic change uh, uh, as a sole practice, that's all they did, and that was their value to the partnership because the partnership is then contributing to make the community better. That's what we're talking about. Pretty simple. Very clear. Um, what, any advice you would have for other 
attorneys uh, around the world who are watching this, because this is going around the world, um, other people who may not be attorneys, but who wish to uh, have a significant positive shift to be a heaven maker with respect to the institution of law? Well, I think that you're too kind to call it a heaven maker, but I think that really it's a matter of wanting to make change uh, and um, and uh, giving the opportunity to uh, to marginalize groups in some manner or fashion, not on one-off cases in the sense that I'll run a whole practice myself for my paying clients and do a file here and there, but but focusing on doing something, building cases, uh, seeking them out, preparing them properly, uh, and spending all your time doing it. It's a really imaginative, really wonderful way to practice if you could, and we'll make it available for Vince to do it, and uh, and uh, he'll do it, and we'll um, uh, and 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 we'll just cover it while it goes. Um, a question: Can you put um, the Global Mail story and something about him on your corporate website? We'll link to that. It's, all, it's on. It's on our Facebook page. It's on our uh, Twitter feed. It's um, it's all those places, right? Good. We'll, we'll link to that. Anything else you'd like to say, or that I didn't ask you? I'd encourage uh, other law firms to think about it, or groups of law firms to think about it. You know, it doesn't need to be one law firm. 10 law firms can get together and say, we'll collectively do this amongst ourselves. Or 20 law firms, two or three lawyers each. Imagine, it's so easy uh, if you want to do it. Just well, get one. The other thought I had, too, is would you be available to come and speak to law societies? or? Ah, of course, it's, but it's, it doesn't take much to say. We're doing it in 10 minutes, right? So <laughs> it's not rocket science. It's Very just a matter of willingness. Well, I want to disagree with one thing you said earlier, which was you're not a heaven maker. I think you are. I think this is really innovative. Uh, it's bold. And it's, you know, taking on the legal system and saying we'd like this institution called law to be a, an active contributor to, to heaven on earth. So thank you, Ron. And thank you to Pleasure. Pink Larkin for doing such an amazing job. Pleasure. And thank you for all your good work. All the best, Martin. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.